okay guys let's get started so in this video i wanted to show you how you can add a rice and banana to your baby food this is super nutritious super affordable you don't have to spend so much money on baby food or teen food you can actually make the best healthy nutritious meal from your own kitchen so as you can see out here i have half a cup of rice i have two medium-sized bananas and i have here two teaspoons of baby milk any milk that you give your child so this is the one i feed my child with so i've measured out two teaspoons of baby milk and this milk is just for one feeding however the rice and the banana the rice and the banana can give you up to three times meal for your little one so let's get started and see how we rice and and uh, banana into a nutritious and delicious meal for your little one i'm going to show you two ways that you can do this this is really cheap affordable you don't have to waste money buying baby food tin food and all that and you can get quality healthy meal for your baby for your little one right out of your kitchen so join me and let's get started if you like this video please give it a thumbs up please share it so other mothers can get to know how to feed their baby nutritiously without spending so much god bless you so you pour your rice wash it out take out all the starch and all the chemicals all the dirt in it you watch it wash it as as many times as you want until you are satisfied that it is clean enough you can see i'm washing i'm washing mine over and over and over and over again now you set the rice on fire on medium heat and let it boil if you want you can after five minutes you can pour out the water and wash it again i usually do if you don't the first washing is okay so our rice is boiling now and i like to strain out just water and continue cooking with a fresh water so i'm just going to strain out this water and add a fresh water so here we go just straining out the water and starting on a fresh one so i'll strain out all that water you see it's cleaner now um if there were any chemicals any preservatives all of that is gone you can see the rice is the rice is very clean so now we get cooking so guys yes the rice it is washed it is clean and it is cooking now so we're just going to cook it until it is tender and soft and okay just the way you cook your rice when you want to eat it but just because it's for a baby you make it very soft not hard you cook it until it is really soft so I'm just going to put the lid and let that cook, cook until it is done. So guys, the rice is cooked as you can see. It's really soft and tender. And I'm just going to now, for the first method, I'm just going to take enough to make a meal for my baby. So that's it. So I'm just taking enough to make a meal. And this is enough, All right? so we move over now to get all of this done all right guys so to finish up this meal we have our cooked rice white rice is ready is over here one banana to make one meal so banana is here one medium sized banana and of course um our milk two tablespoons of milk for one meal and i have here half a cup of water have a cup of water so to get started we're going to peel off this banana nice and neatly peel it off nicely right and just put it over there in the blender all right so one banana is in the blender we're going to add our rice uh, just for uh, those people that are doing it for the first time here is how you know the amount of water to add. Just add enough water to cover up your rice. So you can see, add enough water just to cover up the rice. 
and this will give it a nice and good consistency after blending it so we are going to blend all of that so we've added our rice so just a minute get all of my rice in there um so yes all the rice is in the blender the water is in you can just keep the leftover water should you need it uh depending on the consistency that you want for your baby so i have everything ready i'm just going to go ahead and so if your baby is six months you want this to be really smooth but if your baby is eight months and above and you still want it to be smooth but if your baby is one year and you're already eating you know um all that hard stuff you don't want it to be so smooth you want it to be you know roughly smooth but for this we are doing for six months so we want it very smooth so i'll just keep go ahead and keep blending all right so the rice is ready i'm taking it off the blender and take out take away the cup and here is my baby plate so i'm just going to pour all of that in here guys can you see that see how nice this looks see how just nice yummy delicious full of nutrients for your baby so i'm just going to get all that out of the blender into the plate just taking all that out into the plate guys look at this just take a look at that wholesome delicious nutritious so much nutrients in there so now that our rice is ready it's it's good to go we're just going to go ahead and pouring the milk pour in the milk and just mix it up so here is me mixing it up mix up the milk with the rice and the banana remember this is just the first method there is another method and this one is for if your child you know can eat the rawness of the banana without much problems you can just go ahead and make it this way so this is ready and <laughs> my son is waiting he loves it he loves it i'm going to show you the plate when it is done so so guys here is your rice your banana and your milk and this food is ready for your baby to eat take a look at that just just look at it just look at it amazing 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 the second method that's if your child does not like the raw taste of bananas if you don't like it then it's best to add it while the rice is still cooking as you can see my banana is ready i have um i've cut them into smaller size so they can heat up quickly you don't want to cook them for too long so i've cut them into tiny tiny sizes and i'm just going to pour all that into the rice and stir it so I have all my banana and the rice. I'm just going to go ahead and stir all of that in the rice with the rice and let it steam for a few more minutes. A few more minutes. You don't want to overcook the bananas. You just want it to cook for a few minutes. So I'm just putting the lid over it and we'll let it cook with low heat, very low heat for a few minutes, say around one minute maximum two so guys for the second method of this rice and banana meal for your baby our rice is ready you can see it looking so nice in there we have our rice and the banana the banana is not overly cooked it is just just nice and enough as you can see it's not overly cooked when it's overly cooked it turns black and all that or you can see it's looking so good so the nutrients are not are still intact and everything is good so i'm just going to take enough to feed my baby so i'll just you can take as much as your baby will need all right so 
take enough for the baby add some some more rice and we'll take this out of the way just cover it up and now to get the meal ready if your child is a year and a year and above you can just you know mash this up with your spoon and all that and it will be good to eat but if your child is six months you need to blend that it has to be smooth so i've poured my rice and my banana in my blender i'm just going to add half a cup of water and pouring it in the plate so i can get all the grains of rice out of out of there so um add a little bit half cup just to get you know the consistency that i need if you need more water you can always add but uh from experience the the amount i've added is is, is very much okay for me so i'm going to go ahead and blend that all up all right that should be fine guys can you see this as you can see smooth yummy nice awesome nutritious feeling so i'm just going to go ahead and pour that just a second I'll push this back so you can see take the cup out of the way all right hope you guys can see so you see delicious mommies you need to taste this i'm telling you it is so delicious so nutritious your little one is going to like it the son is my for my son the plate is will always be empty before he leaves so all right i'm just taking whatever is left in there out into the plate and let me just bring this close so you can see just how beautiful and amazing this is look at that just awesome 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 better than thin food and all that new super super nutritious so the last thing to do to this is of course to add our baby milk which i've already measured mine out so any baby milk that you feed your your child is okay this is the one i feed my child i don't want to call the name because i'm not marketing any product so this is the baby milk i feed my child and i have scooped out of it two teaspoon so we're just going to go ahead and pour that in here if you want to add some more water that's okay if you don't want to you can still just mix it all up mix it all up nice and smooth if the consistency is not okay for you if it is too thick you can go ahead and add some more water if it is okay for you then there's no need to add any more water just whatever works for you works for your baby is just fine all right so all mixed up all looking good all looking yummy you don't you do not need to add sugar you do not need to add um honey this is super delicious please go ahead and have a taste of it or make sure you don't eat all of it <laughs> all right and this is ready this is good for your little one all right so um if you like this video if you enjoyed watching it please try it and let me know in the comment section how your little one took it put some pictures in there and share it to other mothers let them know that they can actually feed their child with nutritious meals right from their kitchen without breaking their pocket and watch out for my next video where i'm talking about how you can give your child mixed vegetables you don't want to miss that video so until i come your way again thank you for watching and i will see you again soon and please don't forget to subscribe this is the journey to marriage kitchen and arm of the journey to marriage god bless you thank you and goodbye for now see you in my next video bye for now